Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny. Here goes. So guys, I'm extremely happy and humbled to show you guys some fan art that somebody sent me on Twitter. Now, I inspired fan art in the past. Normally, it's Goku Black and Chi Chi Black, or just Goku Black. But this is the first time that I've inspired somebody to create brand new fan art that I've ever seen or that really has ever existed before. And so I'm extremely shook at how good this looks. This is coming from Cade at Six Pocket Studios on Twitter. He sent me this. I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter. Go ahead and follow him in the description below because he is going to color it. Once he colors it, I'm going to share it on the community tab. I'm going to share it on Twitter because this looks really, really cool. And I want to see what it looks like completed. This is unfinished, but look at him. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind when you look at him, he looks exactly like Danny Phantom. Now, if you guys don't know who he's supposed to be, this is supposed to be Ben 10's Saiyan form. So if Ben 10 had access to the Saiyan DNA, a Saiyan form, we talked about this in my last video. Go ahead and check that out because that is basically the brother to this video. We talked about whether he'd have access to maybe a Saiyan like Goku. So this is his portrayal of what that Saiyan Goku slash Ben 10 fusion would look like. And it just looks so good. And it looks like something that would 100% fit in Ben 10. So again, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to his Twitter. Go ahead and follow him there. And if any of you guys have any other fan art for me, uh, Twitter is the best place to find me. Either DM me or just tag me in your fan art. If anybody can do fan art with Goku Black and Android 18, y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, that would be awesome. Let me know if you can do that and send it to me on Twitter. But for today, I have something that a lot of you guys talked to me about in yesterday's video. And that is that Goku may not be the best candidate for the best Saiyan that Ben 10 can transform into. Which I don't think so. I think that Goku on his own is an extremely good candidate. I think that he's done so much. He's got so much latent potential that he is at least top tier. But... Just in all fairness, you guys are giving me either Vegeta or Broly. And I gotta tell you guys, there are two reasons why I picked Vegeta over Broly. Now, Broly has only been in one movie technically in canon. At least DBS Broly has. And Vegeta's been here since the beginning. So first of all, Vegeta needs those props. And then the second thing is that I made a video about Goku. And I'm not gonna leave Vegeta hanging that's not gonna happen actually there's a third thing yesterday's video was heavily depicting the true potential of a saiyan based on vegeta and trunks's abilities to go into that super saiyan god key on their own without having to use the ritual so that's why i wanted to choose vegeta for this video and in contrast to yesterday's video i am not putting any god key in the mix there's gonna be no god key in the mix um, even though vegeta can access it a little bit i'm gonna have him access the god key in attacks so what does that mean that means that we are focusing solely on the saiyan genes and so for those of you guys who need a better explanation this video these two videos were inspired by the ink tan go ahead and subscribe to them i already have and the video is, can Ben 10 turn into a Super Saiyan? Now in this video, he explains exactly what the Ultra Matrix is. And I think he does a better explanation about it than I ever could. This is where things can get tricky. For those who have not seen my other videos, or Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, one of the devices Ben possessed was the Ultimate Matrix which Ben made great use of its evolutionary feature. The evolutionary feature, or going ultimate, force simulates the alien into an apocalyptic war zone for a million years, and modifies the DNA to match the result of what the alien would have to evolve into to survive. 
basically one million years of hyperbolic time chamber training non-stop. So let's say for a million years Vegeta's DNA is being put through this hellish battlefield-like landscape, this training, undertaking, and genetic enhancement and manipulation for a million years to get the most out of his DNA. And we're also throwing in, again, training because that is what I did with Goku yesterday and that is what the Ink Tank was doing with his video, training for a million years for that DNA for Vegeta. But the only difference from yesterday's video is that there is no god key simulation for the DNA. In yesterday's video, Goku had some unlocking of that god key, similar to what Vegeta and Trunks could do. In this one, they tap into it, or the DNA taps into it, but there is no turning into a Super Saiyan God or turning into a Super Saiyan Blue, none of that. This is purely focused on the Saiyan DNA. So what would that look like? What would Vegeta look like a million years later? Well, since a lot of you guys chose Vegeta and a lot of you guys wanted Broly, I'm going to throw some respect on Broly and say that his form, the Akari form, is by far the right track, the right direction for the ultimate Saiyan DNA. And that is probably our best look, similar to yesterday, that is our best look as to what a million years of tinkering, mutating, training, and throwing a lot of evolution on the Saiyan DNA would look like. Ikari Vegeta is the result that we get at the end of a million years. So the Ikari state is basically grade A powers mixing in with your normal base form. It's just mixing in with that, and at some point it mixes in with Super Saiyan. It's apart from that, though. As you guys can tell in the Broly movie, Broly is Ikari before he sees his father dies, and then once he sees his father dies, he just mixes Super Saiyan with Ikari, and that's what we get. Well, the DNA already is going to have the same parameters, at least to start with, as Goku's DNA from yesterday's video. I keep referencing yesterday's video. Uh, I'm going to have a link to it in the comment section, the top comment, and the description below because these two videos, as I said, are siblings to one another. But he's going to have access to at least Super Saiyan in this DNA that Ben 10 has access to. So it'll be a Super Saiyan Vegeta and what the outcome would be after a million years of training and genetic tampering. So at the end of it all, what we're going to be getting is a Vegeta that can go into the Berserker stages like Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Berserk, all that with the Akari power on top of it. So we're going to get a Vegeta that may not look extremely like Super Saiyan 4 like I had Goku look yesterday. No, he may look more like just the Akari Broly with more of that power coming out. I would say that I would like to see this Vegeta regrow his tail just for added effect so his tail would be grown back and he is going to have access to at least at minimum the Ultra Instinct technique. You guys don't remember in the Torment of Power, Vegeta was trying to do Ultra Instinct until he finally sort of got it. He was able to see through Jiren's attacks and gave him an uppercut to the chest. So I think the same thing would happen if his DNA got trained for a million years, similar to Goku's. Goku's had a leg up because he went into Ultra Instinct Omen, into that state. And so once he went into that state, he sort of shown that, yeah, him for him it's easier to go into ultra instinct but for vegeta i think he would have more of a path of learning it and so his ultra instinct technique would be a little shoddier than what goku can do but he would still have that ability as far as god key i think that vegeta after a million years would have access to god key but it would be only in attacks. He would be able to manipulate his key, maybe turning into potent god key without actually transforming into a Super Saiyan blue or god and then be using that as attacks. So we'd really get this Saiyan that is a mishmash of a couple other parts of what makes a Saiyan an ultimate Saiyan basically. And we would really be focusing on pushing that Saiyan 
genetics that say in DNA as far as it could go. And unfortunately, it doesn't look good for Vegeta as he would more than likely, as the battle continues, start losing control very early on because he would be pushing himself into that Berserker state. Now, Kale was able to kind of control her Berserker state and go into this quasi Saiyan Berserker mode. And the same thing could happen to Vegeta. But if I'm pushing this DNA genetically as far as it can go, even if you could control it with say your technique you could start controlling it even kill would find it hard to control a million years of berserker dna and so yeah vegeta would probably fly off the handle extremely easily and destroy the planet far faster than kid boo did when he first was introduced so in conclusion what we get is a kari vegeta with some ultra instinct god key abilities and key blasts but flying off the handle far sooner and going into that berserker state far sooner and destroying everything around him far sooner but those are just my thoughts on it let me know in the comment section below what you guys think if you guys want to debunk my theory or go ahead and add to it let me know let's have a real conversation in the comment section and just to throw one quick plug here at the end my backup channel black squad has over 3,000 followers now, 3,000 souls. And I told you guys, if the 5K mortal plan gets completed on my backup channel, I'm gonna create it into something, something new. I'm gonna actually upload to it. I'll actually make things on it. More likely focusing on DC, Marvel, other interests that I have, other anime, things like that. So I'm gonna leave a link to that. Well, it's on all my videos, but I'll leave a link to it specifically for this video. Make sure you go ahead and check it out and follow it. Complete the 5K Mortal Plan. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys.